Okay guys, well we are back again with another tragic tale of how I got my ass handed to me on Tekken 8 in one of the most pivotal matches of my Tekken 8 career, if not the most pivotal match it was the match of me going into Bushin now the reason I'm doing another video like this is because last time I uploaded one I got a lot of positive comments of people saying that it was really nice for them to see the journey that I went on to rank up because it can be a very daunting task for a lot of people especially people coming from other fighting games uh, Tekken is a whole other beast and I can say you know from playing loads of fighting games over the years Tekken is undoubtedly the most frustrating but also the most rewarding so this is going to be a video of my failures and triumphs on my way to Bushin just so you guys can get an idea of what I went through so I was playing this Tekken King King player he was actually really good and then I went into this match with this Nina player and I'm kind of gonna kind of take you through a couple of the matches that I had on the lead up and then sort of play the match that really sent me into overdrive now when I say sent me into overdrive when you guys get to it you're gonna see just how ridiculous the loss was like I couldn't believe it and this seems to be a reoccurring theme it's really weird every time you get to a promotion match something dumb happens and you sit there and you're like I just spent like an hour getting nothing but W's playing on point and then I get to my promotion match and I can't just close it out like normal it makes no sense to me whatsoever and the worst thing is the promotion match that I played here today was not even the most difficult it wasn't even close to the most difficult as a matter of fact the most difficult set that I ended up playing was against that king player that king player ended up winning the entire set but I didn't want to put the entire thing up on there so this is the promotion match and this is the Jin player so we're gonna run through the entire match now while the match is playing I did just want to say a massive thank you to everybody that has subscribed to the channel everybody that is regularly coming back to check out the videos every day whether it's news rants conversations or me uploading my L's and W's it's been a lot of fun doing these uploads and hopefully we can hit 10k soon that's what I'm hoping for I've never had a YouTube channel that has hit 10k before uh, for those of you that don't know I'll give you a bit of backstory about me on YouTube so I do have another active channel right now called Midnight Rubbish obviously that is more of a social slash political channel it's very controversial and uh, I've had a lot of fun doing it but that's also not my first YouTube channel way back in the day when it was really popular to make Dragon Ball Z AMVs I actually had a Dragon Ball Z AMV channel and I had a very popular video on there now the channel's gone it used to be called uh, Saiyan Pride I think something silly like that like I was 13 or something I made the channel and I was like yeah this is gonna be my bread and butter and I'd make stupid AMVs basically just copying what I'd seen other people doing and uh, it was a lot of fun uh, but as you can see here with this gym player, he's just he's beating my ass right now. And I was getting really frustrated because I was thinking to myself, and no offense to this player at all, you know, this is not a, a reflection on the player. It's just that I was thinking, this guy's not doing anything that I haven't seen before. He's not playing particularly amazing. But again, when you get to that rank up and it's time for you to go to the next rank, I don't know what it is, but it's like you get nerfed. Or it's like they find somebody with the perfect playstyle to counter you. Like it might not seem impressive, but for whatever reason it works. And here I'm getting really, really annoyed. Like I'm starting to really, you know, you can feel your blood sizzling. I'm starting to grip the controller ever so slightly harder. And I think this gym player kind of knew that I was starting to lose my temper a little bit. And, you know, nothing pisses me off more than Jin's lows. Uh, and then he goes for a perfectly timed rage out there. Now I'm clinching my teeth. Like, you know when you do that that Michael Scott face where you feel like shit's about to go down? Yeah, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I'm literally one move away from absolutely getting cooked here. That was the most random guess. I threw the jab out thinking to myself that he was going to run in. The fact that he stuck his fist out, if I had timed that any worse, that would have been it. So now I'm thinking, okay, cool, we got this guy on, on the ropes. You know, everything is going well here. It's going exactly as I wanted. I wasn't expecting the explosion because of where I was on the map. But I ran with it, didn't get the best combo. Now, here's where things went sideways. I don't know why that happened, but the gym player capitalized nicely. I'm not out of it yet. You know, I'm still in there. Activates heat. I'm thinking to myself, okay, Mike, you just run in. You've absolutely goofed. 
Again, there was no need for me to run in because I had the life lead. Again, I could have gone for the stomp there. Now, watch this nonsense. All I had to do was a mid. I went low. He launched me and then made me sit through a rage art. And I'm fuming now. I am absolutely fuming. And full disclosure, there is another match after this. And he went on to absolutely batter me. It went down to the final round. But in the final round, he destroyed me. So I'm sitting on my chair really pissed off right now. And at this point, my friends have entered the Discord and they want to play Helldivers. So now I've got them on my case. And I've got this Tekken King Brian on my case as well, who was extremely difficult to deal with. But happy to tell you that we dispatched of this guy. And it's so crazy to me that I'm able to beat Tekken King ranked players. Now, I know that doesn't mean as much as it did on Tekken 7 just yet because the game is still very new but to see that rank back in the day it was just not even fathomable that I could beat a player that was a Tekken King uh, so it is pretty nice and um, as you guys can see here this Brian player was giving me a run for my money this is the final game of the set um, I was getting really annoyed as well because my friends were on Discord telling me to get on Helldivers but they're not Tekken players so they don't understand the anger that I was feeling right now because I was so close to being a new rank and I was not going to play Tekken, I was not going to play Helldivers. If I had lost and I'd lost all my points and right now I've lost about a thousand points at this point so I'm trying to make my way back up the ladder, I was not playing Helldivers but I wasn't telling them that. Also. Let me just say, I cannot stand Elisa players. I know I'm a Feng player, and I know that rubs people the wrong way, but I hate Elisa. Just because of her anime style, her anime play style, it drives me up the wall. I hate it. Every time she brings the chainsaws out, I'm like, right, they've gone to sleep on the wheel because the chainsaws are so dumb. Now, I did watch the Frame Whisperers video about how to deal with the chainsaws, and I did actually learn that if you just tap her, even if she's blocking, you will get her to put them away and I didn't actually know that before but still even with all of that knowledge she's still incredibly difficult to deal with when they come out like having to guess where she's going to do things is really really hard like it's very very heavily in her favor but we dispatched of her and now this Nina player is somebody that I ran into earlier in the night and I know that my promotion match is coming up and I'm feeling good I'm feeling very good I've learned the Nina matchup. I got to sit down and play uh, against Foxy's Nina for quite some time. Uh, his Nina's very good. I'm sure he's probably gotten better with her now. Um, I'd probably play him against soon, actually, to see where his level is. Um, but I learned quite a lot from playing him and playing some other Ninas online. And um, I was watching Jod's videos, actually. Jod's one of the top players in the world right now, I think. I think he's right there. He might even be ranked number one, and he's using Nina. So... Nina's a matchup that has always confused me. I've always struggled very heavily. Uh, I'm happy that in this game I don't struggle with her as much. I'd say my struggle matchups in this game are King, Elisa, Asuzena. Those three in particular are oh, Leo. I can't stand Leo. Those four characters I really struggle against. So if you use one of them and you think you're pretty good with them, hit me up because I would definitely like to learn from you. Whenever I see those characters pop up, I've just I shut down completely. So I'm feeling good right now. I'm I'm feeling like I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the night. I'm gonna enter Hell Divers as a Bushin rank, and uh, that Tekken King rank is just around the corner. So I was looking at the rankings. I don't know if is anybody a Lord of Destruction yet. Is that even a real ranking? Because I see it on the pictures, but I haven't seen anybody on the leaderboards with that rank. Or it might it might just be something that's taken a very long time to get to. Uh, so here I'm panicking a little bit because I'm like, come on, Mike, we've got one more round. And all you got to do is seal it. Nina players starting to fill themselves. I only found out the other day her guns are a high, which is a uh, very, very useful information because I was wondering, am I playing Tekken or Injustice? Because she was standing across the screen and just shooting at me. And it was driving me mad. So we've locked out that one. So now we're going into the final game. As you can see there, I'm about to turn Bushin. I am very, very excited. I've got my nice casual wear with Feng Wei on, ready to go on a night out after we get this rank. I'm hoping this person doesn't leave. They don't leave. Promotion match again. Do you know what? I don't think I have gone to a promotion match and just done it the first time ever since I came out of the red ranks. I think every single blue rank, I've had a promotion match and I've absolutely fumbled the bag. But do you know what? I always clear my mind 
I take a step back. I'm like, okay, it's not the end of the world. We can definitely do this. And then uh, usually on the same night, I'll end up getting it. It's very rare that I'll close off the night and not go back to get my rank. Uh, and obviously we're going to be doing a we're probably going to be doing a video like this for Tekken King because knowing me and knowing the way I play, I'm probably going to get to my promotion match with Tekken King fairly quickly and then absolutely fumble it, get really angry and then have to climb the ladder again. And that has been the story of my life so far. It has constantly been get to promotion match, fumble it, get really mad, destroy aliens on hell divers and come back and finish the job. But I like uploading these videos because I think it's good. A lot of the people that watch my channel are kind of new to Tekken. Some of them are like Mortal Kombat players that have come over. So you get to see the trials and tribulations people go through. And like I said, I've played pretty much every major fighting game in the last 20 years. And I would say Tekken is by far and large the most difficult one to remain consistent at and to climb the leaderboards. It wasn't very difficult at Mortal Kombat. It was actually relatively easy. Uh, in comparison to this, I got to Elder God with Shao Kahn very, very quickly uh, with relative ease. But I would say with Shao Kahn, uh, one thing I would say, if I'm being fair, is that there's so few of them online that I was probably getting away with things that people just didn't understand, which, you know, that happens a lot. That happens with Feng Wei too. Feng Wei, I think, is the most winning character on Tekken 8, but he is used very, very rarely. So I know people struggle with this matchup. And here right now I'm panicking because I'm like, come on, Mike, you just got to do one more move. I do a random rage out there. They don't punish. The gods have favored me. And we close. Yes! Out. Fucking did it. Come on. And, and, and you can hear that. That was me <laughs> popping off. Um, so there we have it, guys. I've, I've reached the Bushin rank. This was just a quick video again to say, don't let the promotion matches throw you off too much, even though it threw me off. You'll find your way there. But I hope you enjoyed the videos. Next stop, Tekken King. And I will catch you guys very, very soon. Peace. Shit, I dropped my 500 kg. Shields. Yeah, I think you might be right. Yeah, it's there. Oh, yeah. God damn! Well done, boys. Guys, there's enemies I've never seen before. Yeah.